A new documentary about the connection between your gut and your health has become a surprising mega hit on Netflix. And a lot of the research behind it came from the Scripps Institution of Oceanography. I got a chance to talk to one of the doctors featured in the movie about the changes that we all can make to have healthier guts and healthier lives. If you just look at the, the gut, gut, all this gets much easier to understand. In Hack Your Health, The Secrets of Your Gut, Dr. Jack Gilbert spends a lot of time talking about food. People differ in their relationship to food, in their diseases, in their response to medication, in their overall life history. When I met him at his lab at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography, this is actually human bacteria. We talked about the movie and his hope that people take its message to heart and to their stomach. If you could whittle this documentary down into one core concept, what is it? It's like eat healthy and uh, feed the gut bacteria that live inside you. You should try and eat at least 40 species of plant a week. A lot of people don't even get 40 servings of vegetables a week to right. begin with. How do you get people to take action on this and start to get on that path? It's one of the hardest things you can do. I can lead a horse to water, but I can't make it drink. The best thing you can possibly do is try and um, add up what you're eating during the week and then make it a game. That game is part of the documentary. It combines fun animation with the personal health stories of a handful of people and the research, like Dr. Gilbert's, that shows why we really are what we eat. We're trying to understand what's going on with all this variance that makes people different. We think the microbiome is key to that. Everybody has a unique microbiome. Netflix does not release streaming data, but they say Hack Your Health ranked in the top 10 films in the US the week it was released. Dr. Gilbert says it's been so popular, he's gotten thousands of emails from people who want to know more about their gut. Back in his lab. There's hundreds of millions of cells now. Dr. Gilbert showed me the next step, how he's now studying bacteria to find ways to prevent and cure specific diseases. So we're doing this with a lot of different um, cancer-based diseases because each one of those cancer-based diseases provides us with an opportunity to use microbes as therapy and use diet as a way of getting those organisms to cultivate inside your gut. And that's where this becomes, I think, a lot bigger than just eat healthier to yeah. live healthier. Right. You can specifically target cancers, diseases, you know, all sorts of things that through changes in diet or through changes in your gut biome, you can possibly avoid. Precisely. Um, and this is the reason children are so important, right? Mm. If I can get the children to uh, start on a healthy journey, and then, and then provide them with the right kind of microbial environment, they'll, the, our chances of seeing disease in our population will go down in the next 30 years. Right, we already know that... So I gotta admit, after watching the documentary, I've been yeah. like very intentional about eating more servings of fruits and vegetables and a more mm -hmm. diverse array of it. Um, so yeah, it's an interesting watch. Yeah, I still, it's on my bucket list to watch. You know, my husband and I, want, we wanna watch that one. For Hack sure. your health. Mm -hmm. All right, health is just one of the areas that I like to report on. Also, biotech, uh, hospital systems, and the Poway Unified School District. If you've got a story idea on that, or if you just want to, like, say hi, what's up, you can email me at jared.aarons at 10news.com or scan the QR code on your screen.